shamans and uh, Tibetan lamas were in there and little Pat I got called in because I dreamt the formation days before. I had no idea at all of, of crop circles then other than just rumors uh, but no experience firsthand. I dreamt that I was flying over Stonehenge. Uh, I heard a voice say Oh, and I looked down and I saw this perfect spiral next to it, so much bigger than Stonehenge, noteworthy. And I heard a voice say, pay attention, this is a lock-on point for interdimensional contact, and it's going to be important. I uh, woke up, wrote down the message, uh, went a few days later I went to Glastonbury, saw the exact same image, exact same dimensions, on a wall, on a, like a photograph, a large photograph in a bookstore. This led me to getting into the crop circle, and when I got there, I, I could barely get in before I lost consciousness. Two weeks after this, I started hearing, actually, I hate to say automatic writing, but I started getting this information. And I would like to say to your audience that I was not big on this kind of channel mediumship. Uh, all of my life I've been a healer, I've been, I'm a psychic from childhood. Mediumship was not something that appealed to me. So I resisted it. But the messages got kept coming and eventually became a book and 24 hours after the first book was done the new title is I was like okay I'm in service so I would like to say that actually I um, when you say you're a messenger for the world uh, I would like to say that I am a scribe to the Syrian High Council which is interdimensional consciousness from the sixth dimension and that I'm vehicle uh, and I am in humble service I want that to be real clear Okay. So you channeling information from the Syrians? Yes. Okay. And tell us a little bit about that. Well, as beings in a 3D context, we still imagine, visualize, conceive of dimensions somehow in layers. Because we recognize experience in 3D as outlines and borders and shadow. So when we think of layers, we think of like a pie. Yeah. Uh, this is not the reality of a multidimensional consciousness or a multidimensional universe, which is a swirling, blending, a vaporous, uh, intertwining of realities, of densities. So the Syrians, we have consciousness on, on all levels. And what's exciting is scientists are finally getting this, and they're, signed, they're starting to say, you spiritualists have it right. Yeah, so uh, we have many dimensions, in fact who knows how many, but these beings, the Pleiadians you've heard of by great channels like Barbara Marciniak, are at the fifth dimension and the Syrians are at the sixth. And they love to remind us not to get hung up on is sixth better than fifth, is fourth better than third, to recognize that these are just simply different densities and not to apply that human evaluation system of if three is good, four is better, this is something we're still stuck with because we see layers, we see achievement, we see higher is better. Yeah, we have a hierarchical system here. Still. Yes, we certainly do. So uh, this is a matter of a different density, uh, more light. And they remind us that at every stage on this spiral of light, there are beings lending a hand, reaching out, helping those that are climbing come up a step higher and that the Syrians are involved with us now because uh, all light beings on the spiral of light are concerned with others who are climbing up this spiral. And why is that? I mean, is that, a, that the uh, sort of law one concept of service to others and uh, helping others and therefore you help yourself? I mean, well, yeah, uh, basically you, there is no other. As you, as you climb out of this illusion of separation, you recognize there is no other. You're it, we're all it. And so the other that we recognize now in separation is you. The sooner we get this, the easier it's going to be to bring this planet up to a much higher frequency. And we are learning this from our own experience, our own evolution, which is at this moment just exploding, and from the guidance we're getting from other dimensions. You could say it's from angels, from uh, ascended masters, whatever that source is, your own higher self, we are getting it that there is really no separation and that as long as you feel that way, as long as you see the other, uh, you're not working at the highest levels of consciousness.
Absolutely. Um, the controls that are on earth that keep mankind imprisoned by the illusion of fear, you say have been here for a very long time were simply hidden. Now I feel mostly among occult knowledge. Um, while awaiting the structures that, that such institutions as uh, banking and media and education and religion would hold the human race in the global um, uprising and, and keep them sort of being an awakened mind, um, do you feel the awakening is happening now? Absolutely. And uh, what, what, what sort of um, evidence is that to people who aren't aware? What, what is it that they need to look out for to, to prove that to them? Well, for starters, everything's crumbling. The old systems that you've mentioned are crumbling. The banks are crumbling. The government is crumbling. Uh, yeah, they're, they're putting up a good front. It's like a last desperate surge to keep the sheep, that would be how they perceive us, in obedience. So we've got all these systems that, uh, you know, Quite honestly, the vaccination program we'll probably talk about as we go along. Uh, I think that there's something more to it than vaccine in those needles. Yeah. Uh, it's about categorizing, cataloging every human being on the, species, on the planet. Why? What are they so afraid of that they need this information? So uh, it's pretty clear to me that there's a, a human uprising happening now. Um, not only among the so-called enlightened 